Hello everyone. In this video, we will start to create our update component and we will split update in two videos. This is going to be the first video and in this video, we will be uh, we will be seeing how we can grab this uh, record ID number, this identification number and display it on the front end. Why we need to grab and display this on the front end? Let me show you why. Because this is our record, okay? I mean, this is what we have. It's fruit name, apple, and description here. So what we want to do is we want to change apple to orange. But while changing apple to orange, we don't want to delete an existing record. I mean, you can think this as a record. And this is another record. So while, we, while doing that, we don't want to delete an existing one. Or we don't want to create a new one. We want to update an existing one. So... It means that this ID number will stay the same, but the fields, the values of those fields, it will change. And now let's go here. So the first thing to do is to create a component. Let's name this as update read.js. And don't, pay, don't, don't put anything inside. And then let's go to app.js. And here we will first add the import statement for the update read because we will create a new route for update read and then we can actually uh, create this path for the update read component our routing is finished we can go to where is it it's here so actually we don't need to do everything from scratch we can just grab all those read component code and paste it inside update read we just need to change this uh, export default read to update read and that's it now actually everything here will stay the same and the only thing that we will do with this exercise is we will also add this item dot id field i mean like right now we don't have anything called id why because let me show you again here as you can see we have fruit definition and fruit name these two fields. We don't have a third field called ID. Although we see the ID identification number here, this is not a uh, this is not a field inside this object. Okay, it's outside the object, which means that we cannot access it by saying item dot ID because there is no such thing as ID uh, as a field inside that object. And maybe I can give a nicer name: fruit name, fruit definition and fruit id logically isn't it for now it will be empty i mean if i npm start this component and go to this update read route it will just be empty field nothing else so let's go to snapshot that exists because everything will change here so first thing is we will say const my data is equal to snapshot dot value snapshot.value i think you remember what it was it will return us a javascript object and it's not that much useful like this we need to call i mean in the last exercise we have called object of values because we didn't need those id fields we needed the value field the values i mean those records we needed them that's why we called object of values and by calling object of values we have grabbed those objects and saved them in an array okay but this time we will do something contrary. Instead of calling object.values, we will be calling object.keys. So when we call object.keys, it will do the contrary. This time it will not uh, take those records. It will only grab the identification numbers and save them in an array so that we can use it. So this time we will need that. And to get that, it's actually easy. You just copy this. You create a new array, let's say temporary array is equal to object.values. No, we will say object.keys. Object.keys on what? On my data snapshot. And this will give us this array, nothing else. But this array is not useful, so we need to convert this array to something else. I mean, we should create new objects from the from the identification numbers inside this array so to create new objects we will use map and here maybe we can say my fire id we will make an arrow sorry return not here we will open curly braces 
let's say return another curly brace we need a spread operator and then on that spread operator if we say my data and if you all if you open those square brackets just like an array although my data is not an array let me show you why it's not an array my data is this it's not an array it's an object it's a javascript object but we can uh, treat we, we sometimes can use javascript objects just like an array that's why we, we are using square brackets here and if we grab this my fire id and paste it inside this will return us those fields, I mean those object fields, those object values. But just object values is not enough. We also need to add another field, you know, like what we want to do here is that we want to add one more field here, fruit ID. And for that reason, we are going one line down and we are saying fruit ID is equal to what? Is equal to my fire ID. And that's it actually. This will create a new object and save it inside the temporary array. So once everything finishes, we will just say save it inside this. And that's it actually. Our component is finished. Now let's initiate the project and PM start. That's nice. That's the index route. Now let's go to update read route. And let's click on display data great now we have the id field of each record so that's it for this video see you in the next video bye bye